What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Wednesday, April 27th. This would have been a kickball Wednesday, but season is over. We lost in the quarterfinals. I think it was the quarterfinals. Yeah, quarterfinals. So sad. So sad. Horrible performance by the team this year, but they didn't have me for 90% of the year. All is good. So now, now my Wednesdays are free. So what are my Wednesdays going to look like moving forward? It is very simple. Each and every Wednesday night, when everyone settles in from a hard day at work, the team and I are going to get together, and we are going to discuss Lux Lions. Yes, the NFT project that is built on the XRP ledger and moving forward because we are not stopping. We are moving at a pace quicker than light. There is no reason to delay. There is no reason to let the minting process hold us up. There is a lot of work to be done. We are going to make this the biggest, the baddest project on the XRP ledger. Mark my words. We will get Ripple's attention. We will be at the Ripple house. We will be at these meetups. We will be invited by Ripple. Lux Lions is coming and they're coming in hot. Remember this. Remember this message, folks. I will not stop until we are noticed and talked about by Ripple because what we are doing is absolutely legendary. Now, this video, a lot to talk about. The smirk, yes, the smirk heard around the world by Brad Gollinghouse yesterday during his Bloomberg interview. We are going to go over. We're also going to talk about Mexico and Bitcoin. Plus, we're going to talk about a massive Ripple partner and a massive partnership that just got signed. And it looks to me like the RippleNet connection is going to be real. So without further ado, folks, let's jump into this thing. Let's head over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing? Bitcoin. $38,963. It is currently down 4.13% in the past 24 hours. I'll be loved XRP coming in at the number seven ranked cryptocurrency coming in at 65 cents. It is currently down 5% in the past 24 hours. The total cryptocurrency market cap is $1.83 trillion as Bitcoin dominance remains in its range at 40.38%. Where do we go? No one knows. Some are going to stay up. Some are going to stay down. Some are going to look like heroes. Some are going to look like clowns. For me, all eyes on Bitcoin dominance. Do I think the correction is over? I don't know. We're kind of at that key range right now for Bitcoin. I mean, XRP is within the buy zone. So we still have a little bit uh, lower to go for XRP. It is absolutely a possibility, a potential. But What's going to happen when I hang up this video, when I put the mic back on the on its little stand? I don't know, folks. Listen, I'm not here for the minute-to-minute, -minute, hour by hour. I'm here for the long term, for the utility case of XRP. And that's what we're about to see, because this thing is going to blow like you've never seen anything blow before. Now, here's a Twitter post from your meme, yours, truly, Ripple Van Winkle. Hear me roar! Lux Lions are taking over the jungle. You heard me right. Watch out. NFTs with the name behind it. Listed the solo decks. That is one example of one of the lions. Love the white on white on gray with the big old fat steak in his mouth. How do you like your steak cooked, folks? Listen, 10,000 NFTs. One to one ratio. 2,500 already gone during the pre-sale. I don't know what you're waiting for because this thing is building. The momentum is building on the charts. This thing is going to take off. I want to make sure everyone gets in. And the beautiful, the beautiful thing about these NFTs, we had these designed specifically so you can go ahead and blow these things up and print them out. And they are not going to lose a single bit of quality. Listen, I've been around for a while. I know what I'm doing here. And then we got to jump into this Brad Gollinghouse interview right off the bat, folks. We're not wasting any time here today. This is a three-part interview. I'm not going to show you all three parts. Don't you worry, even though it's only about six minutes. We're going to listen to the first part because this is very big. Brad was asked by this Bloomberg reporter about the lawsuit. The Bloomberg reported that the Bloomberg lawyers or their legal team stated that Ripple was going to lose the lawsuit. Funny, isn't it? Ironic, right? That's what the Bloomberg lawyers think. I'm happy the Bloomberg lawyers aren't Ripple lawyers. But you need to wait until you see the smirk on Brad's face. He gave it a look of a lifetime. I mean, you heard about the shot heard around the world? This was the smirk heard around the world, folks. This thing went viral. It's almost like Brad was sitting there giving us all a message through the look in his face like, lady, you have no clue what you're talking about and your legal team have no clue what you're talking about. Let's listen to this clip. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Here we go. 
Honey, honey, I know. Now joining us is Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse for an exclusive interview. Brad, it's great to get to speak with you. One of my favorite parts about doing this show in particular is the audience is really engaged and they always are tweeting things at us during the show, after the show. And a consistent question we get is when are you going to talk about Ripple and the SEC? So I'm glad we are finally getting to do so. Can you just give us the latest on where you stand in this case? Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for having me. I think it is, uh, as you introduced, and the reason why the Twitter crypto community cares so much about this question is it's not just about Ripple. It really is, as was introduced, that the whole industry is impacted by this decision. And the core question, as was kind of set up at the beginning, is boils down to a 1946 Supreme Court case that has become known as the Howey test, a test to determine is something a security or not. And look, at the end of the day, we have other parts of even the United States government who have called XRP the digital asset that's native to Ripple's technology stack. It's been called a currency. It's been called property. Mm. The irony is the only country on the planet that thinks XRP is a security is the United States, is the United States SEC. The case has gone well. Yeah. It's still uh, playing out. You know, the, the SEC, in our judgment, has certainly moved slowly. T typically in these situations, when the SEC brings the case, they want to move quickly. They have been dragging their feet. Uh, you know, Gary Gensler said recently publicly that justice delayed is justice denied. And unfortunately, uh, justice is being delayed here by continued uh, efforts by the SEC to push things out. Okay, well, Brad, our litigation analysts here at Bloomberg Intelligence think that the SEC ultimately is going to win this. That's just an opinion. It's a hypothetical. There it is, folks. There's the smirk. You see it? Look at him. Look at him giving a look like, lady, you got no clue. He doesn't care about her opinion or the legal analysis team. Get out of here. Ripple is a legal team made up of amazing professionals, some of the best in the world. Some of the people that used to work for the SEC are working for Ripple's legal team. What do you think they know? Let's continue. Medical scenario, but in that scenario, how does Ripple move forward? Well, look, I think the Howey test is uh, being stretched beyond recognition. And again, there's a 1946 Supreme Court case. So the idea that XRP, which we use as a currency, the idea that that's a security, I think is you know just misguided. But look, it, unfortunately, Ripple is already op operating in a world where it's as if we have lost, right? So in the United States, XRP has all, for all intents and purposes, there's no liquidity. It's been halted and frozen on... Listen, that is a very important statement right there. He stated, Brad Gollinghouse stated that Ripple is already operating like Ripple has lost this case. If this is how Ripple is operating like they lost their case, I hope they lose more cases. Because Brad Gollinghouse just announced they had another record, a record Q1 for partnerships signed up. And yet, we have no liquidity, no partnerships, no new deals within the United States. Are you kidding me? And, we are, and we're acting like they lost the case in the U.S.? What happens when they win the case? What happens to Ripple within the United States? You know to go in public. What happens then? You know there is a ton of money looking for to get in onto Ripple, onto help backing them. You know Google's a backer of them. The smart money will flock in. And what happens when it is deemed that XRP is not a security? What then happens? The large money comes moving in and rushing in. Institutional money, Wall Street money, because they now have a classification for XRP. The classification that we do not have for Bitcoin or Ethereum. Remember, Ginsla will not comment on those. They're very, very interesting now, isn't it? So Brad's telling you you had a record Q1 for Ripple and they already acting like they have lost this case. That is absolutely massive statement that he just said right there. That is huge. And I want you to look at the chart in the background behind Brad. That's XRP's chart. Look at that long, long consolidation. Folks, you know what I'm saying. The longer the base, the higher we go to space. This thing is going to shoot off like a rocket you've never seen before. Two more clips to that video. I'm not going to play you for them. I might play you clip two or three later this afternoon, but let's continue to the news. We come to find out that Mexico just placed its first official Bitcoin ATM inside the Senate building. Is this big? I don't know. Probably not. Is it important? Yeah. You know, stands to show you that Mexico is supporting Bitcoin. Is this thing going to get used? I doubt it. 
Will they ever run numbers for us and let us know how much usage this thing got inside the Senate building? No, probably not. Will this thing be there for over a year? I doubt it. It'll probably be removed. But the fact is, is that it's in there and it's publicity, folks. Right? If there was an XRP ATM inside of the Senate building, we would be excited. There is no reason not to be excited for the Bitcoin maxis here. Now, I want to bring you back to December 14th, 2021, where RippleNet via Fusion Total Messaging announced the partnership came out with their brochure. What is this? Well, this is Finastra managing cross-border payments easier with RippleNet via the Fusion Total Messaging tool. It states, today, global banks and corporations manage millions for payment messages and message warehouse around the world. RippleNet via Fusion Total Messaging allows existing bank systems to route payments efficiently, leveraging instant settlement to transact in second instead of days. Well, as soon as you hear that leveraging instant settlement, folks, it is XRP on-demand liquidity. Well, Michael Manfield wants to tell us that Ripple's partner for Nextra, Announced today that Orange Bank in France has selected Finastra's corporate treasury management solution, Fusion, KTP in the cloud via Microsoft Azure. The article goes on to state, we are pleased to continue our work with Orange Bank. These steps forward into the cloud means that the Orange Bank can now harness increased operational excellence and efficiency within their treasury operations while also supporting their strategic initiatives. I want you to remember something. Ripple was helping manage MoneyGram's treasury via on-demand liquidity. We are now seeing here that Finextra is working with Orange Bank to help out within the treasury operations. Do, do you see where I'm going with that, folks? And here's the actual post from Finextra. It came out at 417 this morning. This is big news, something to absolutely pay attention to. And then just in. Attorney John Deaton says the SEC investigated Ripple XRP for months and couldn't find one claim of fraud. That is a huge statement because this lawsuit isn't about fraud. This lawsuit is about illegal security, which Ripple sold. All of the XRP that you bought, folks, that I bought on the secondary market, it's not a security. Because who is benefiting from sales from that? Coinbase, Binance US, Bittrex, Uphold, not Ripple the company. Fraud would have been a completely different story and that would have been a game changer for this lawsuit. And I promise you, if fraud did come out and that there was fraud involved, that that price would have went a lot lower than 17 cents. But it isn't fraud and the SEC ain't got nothing on Ripple and they got nothing on XRP and they got nothing on us holders. Remember that. Listen, I'm going to leave the video there. I'm going to link Lux Lines below. Get in, get yourself some tokens, get ready to mint these beautiful NFTs, become part of the jungle. You're not going to want to miss out on this project. I'm telling you, and I'm going to say it again. Ripple will notice us. They will know who Lux Lions are. That's going to do for me. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.